Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? I want to do today's video just a little bit different and play a game. I'm going to give you, the people, some information about the meal I'm getting ready to show you. And just be honest and put your guesses in the comments below. Don't wait until the end of the video and then put your guess because that wouldn't be fair. And if you're going to cheat, I'm going to be forced to send this meal to you to eat for the people so I don't have to. And I'm already going to change the rules of this game. I was going to show you a picture of the meal first, but that might make it too easy or make you lose your appetite. The authentic version of this dish was first made in a fancy Taiwanese restaurant in the 1950s. The dish's namesake had never even heard of the dish or had never tried it. Just like most of the Chinese food we eat here in America, it's been westernized, or you could say bastardized, to suit our tastes. Which this dish is no exception when it started being served in New York City in the 1970s. There's a lot of different claims on who first started making this dish in the US. The said frozen 9 ounce meal cost $5.87 in the grocery store. You can order a fresh version with your choice of protein or tofu in a Chinese restaurant for around $15. Here's the list of ingredients of the frozen meal we're trying today. I covered up the main ingredient because it could be a protein or a vegetable or tofu. And if I left it in there, it would probably give it away. I'm going back and forth here and I'm getting a little bit confused, but I hope I'm not confusing you, the people, while trying to describe this meal without giving it away. But I guess that's what makes games fun. Here's the last bit of info I think I can give you about the frozen meal we're going to be trying. This whole meal has 370 calories, 13 grams of total fat, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, no cholesterol, 940 milligrams of sodium, 51 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 18 grams of sugars, and 13 grams of protein. If you haven't guessed the dish that I've been referring to so far, it's General Tso's chicken. Let's just omit the chicken and say General Tso's for now. The sauce in the General Tso's chicken should be sweet, spicy, savory, and sour. The protein, or main component of the General Tso's, should be deep fried and crispy. And that should be the case whether you're using chicken or tofu, as you've seen here in both of these superbly made dishes. Well, at least you should be able to. The Sweet Earth and Lightened Foods Company, who makes meatless and plant-based meals, has made the General Tso's tofu meal that I've been referring to throughout the video, which is crispy tofu, broccoli and brown rice, and a savory spicy sauce. And I'm getting ready to show it to you. But I'm warning you, if you're currently eating something, set it down and step away. Are you the people ready for this? Here's what they call General Tso's Tofu with crispy tofu, broccoli and brown rice, and a savory spicy sauce. As bad as that looks, I'm still going to try it for you, the people, so you don't have to. And I'm not really trying to be mean, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. This is an abomination of anything General Tso's. General Tso himself never even heard of this dish, he never tried this dish, and he's rolling over in his grave. But I'd be willing to bet that whatever this cat was hacking up looked a whole lot better than this. But hey, we never know until we try it. Looks can be deceiving. Trust me, I've been married three times, and I'm sure that feeling was mutual. Well, so far, I've bashed this meal about as much as I can, and I haven't even taken the first bite. Wouldn't I look stupid if this was delicious? If you think there's a chance of that happening, I have some oceanfront property in Arizona I'll give you for a great price. All right, before we get into tasting this, I do have a confession to make. You can heat this up in a conventional oven or in the microwave. I opted for the microwave, mainly because I think nine and a half out of 10 people are gonna pop it into the microwave for three minutes and 15 seconds versus removing the frozen food from this bowl, put it in into a clean bowl and then into your oven for 40 minutes to heat, which is what the oven directions are on the box. So when I'm done reviewing this meal, if it's any good, no harm, no foul. If it's bad, and you, the people, think it would have been that much better if I cooked it in the oven, let me know and I'll do another video cooking it in the oven. So enough talking, let's try this. So we shanked a piece of broccoli stem first. 
And that's a pet peeve of mine with every frozen dinner. It's not just this one. You get more broccoli stems than you do broccoli. But it's still good for you and it's still fiber. But I was able to search around and found a whole piece of broccoli. And we were off to a better start than I expected. The broccoli stem and the whole piece of broccoli was cooked pretty good. It wasn't mushy and it still had a nice little crunch to it. And the sauce, besides being too sweet, it was actually pretty good. But it didn't have any spice to it. But it did have a nice tang to it and a good flavor. Next, we shaked a piece of tofu. And believe it or not, I actually love tofu. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. And I was sad to say that the texture of the tofu was that of a brothel harlot who bid road hard and hung up to dry. Very chewy on the outside with nothing in the middle. In either case, not something you want in your mouth. But for you, the people, I'm a warrior and acted like I was on Fear Factor and took one more big bite. And here's my final thoughts on Sweet Earth's General So's Tofu. The sauce was good. It just needed to be a little spicier. The texture of the broccoli was also good. I was expecting mushy broccoli. The broccoli was cooked perfectly. The rice was like eating oatmeal. I love oatmeal, but I don't want it in my General So's Tofu. And I think I've already made it perfectly clear what I thought about the tofu. And without going into much more detail, I'm doing my best not to go White Castle on Sweet Earth right now because they deserve it. The old doctor's got my meds dialed in perfectly right now. Without the medications, if I gave you my real opinion about this meal, my channel would no longer be family friendly. I really do have so much more I'd like to say about this, but I'm going to end the video right now. If you didn't know it already because I don't say it often enough, I love you, the people. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.